talking about fall and winter time maintenance for next year so we can be ready at the start of the season. So we've touched on a lot of items on the car. We're going to talk about the four link right now. So the four link wishbone combination, anti-roll bar, rear shocks, all that stuff in the back of the car, especially the four link, uh, it takes a beating back here. So uh, all of the power from the car is transferred through the drive shaft to the center section, to the axles, to the wheel and tires, and then the opposite reaction to that is stress on the four link. So the four link rod ends and the four link bars need some love every once in a while, especially the rod ends, um, but they need to be checked. Every car that we build, they get neglected on the rod end maintenance. So um, again, just like the drive shaft, just like the brake pads, the rod ends don't last forever. They take a beating run after run and they eventually get tired and loose. So. Um, this is a four link rod in and uh, you want to make sure of a couple things. Number one, you want to have a high quality rod in in here. You don't want a piece of shit for the four link rod in. You want a nice high quality well built 4130 body. So we got a couple parts here just so I can talk about it. You got the, um, the body which is the outer part here and the body and the threaded part is all made as one piece and then you've got a race here that's pressed in, then you have the ball, and the ball in the center here will pivot. So <clears throat> this is a spherical rod in, and so the, the race is crimped in there, and it holds the uh, ball tight in the center. And uh, if, the, if the run after run on this is going to stress on this ball, and it's gonna open that race up a little bit, and then you, it's gonna have some play in there. And that's when you get a uh, four link bar, that will have turns in it before, you know, the, when you're setting the preload, you should have very little neutral, just like this car, just barely turn it either way before it gets tight. I see some cars where it's like a half a turn before it starts to tighten up. That's because the, the uh, four link rod ends are wore out. So the ball in here beats on that race and then it gets loose. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like loose balls. So tight balls are better, loose balls are bad. Um, these need to be addressed and they're simple to change. It's, it's very easy two hour maintenance job to put new rod ends in. And while you're putting new rod ends in, you need to probably check out the, uh, the four link bolts. And we use an NAS bolt in the four link and, and we have a shoulder that goes all the way through so that all of this shear is pulling on the shoulder of the bolt. There's no threads that are in any part of this other than the part that the nut's on. So the shoulder goes all the way through the brackets, the ball, and then out the other bracket to the nut on the other side. So these NAS have this kind of a dimple head to them, but those are really nice bolts that are very strong and they have a, a, a nice fit on the hole. They're, they're aircraft quality, so they have a precision fit into that hole. So you want a tight fit there, you want a tight fit on that rod end. And uh, when you put these back together, you need to uh, anti-seize these up because this is how this should move. This should be nice and, and smooth and with no binding. That way you get a good idea of adjusting the four length. So plenty of anti-seize on those threads to keep that gliding nice and smooth. So when you set the preload, you're not feeling threads binding and you're actually feeling the load on the chassis. So four link rod ends, very important to keep them fresh. Um, wishbone has rod ends too. They do not get beat up like the four link rod ends. The wishbone is just center in the housing, so it does not get the same abuse, but the slider up here does. The slider uh, moves in and out and it gets uh, uh, pushed side to side. So you need to make sure that this is lubricated and that this slider glides easily in the center of the wishbone. I've had experience with a lot of cars that were not working well on the racetrack because in the end result finding the problem was is that the slider was bound up in the wishbone. So should at the very least drop this rod end out and make sure that this is uh, got plenty of lubrication in it. Um, it slides easily in and out of there with no binding at all. It cannot bind up for the car to work properly. So four link rod ends, change them out. Uh, Jam nuts is another thing uh, you've got, uh, this is quite common, 
to get on these sometimes guys don't get on them straight or they have wrenches that don't fit that nice or whatever because it takes bigger wrenches to do this stuff so they got some cheap ass piece of shit wrench they use and it just beats all the corners off these jam nuts so i see this all the time on a car that, that the, the jam nuts are just raked on the thing um, we've got these little kits too that are uh, jam nut uh, replacement kits and this is a left hand kit we have left and right and uh these these cover all different sizes from 1032 to quarter three eighths all the way up to three quarter which is what's on the uh on the four link here so these are nice kits to have in the trailer you can have a left hand and a right hand kit and you pretty much covered most of the jam nuts on the car so that's a nice little item and these uh should not be chewed up they should be nice and square and the corners all good so that when you put a wrench on them um, it's easy to adjust.